seen in the younger guys that you hope they can continue and you hope they can get better at? Uh, everybody's starting to come into their role now. Um, a lot of players, are, like all the freshmen, are pretty much learning the spots that they have to be in, uh, the timing of the plays, and just what they have to do on the court. When Shell gets gets back and gets healthy, what what can his length bring bring to the team? Uh, it can bring a lot. Um, I believe he has like a seven four, seven five wingspan, so uh, that's going to be intimidating to most offensive players. So like they're going to have to shoot over there. So it's going to allow us to stretch our defense out a lot more. It's nice that Maryland has one of those guys. Out. Everybody look at that one to Purdue. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> they, they just bring out one seven five guy after another. Uh, when you talk about changing your game and all of that, and it certainly put the weight room work in its evident, mm -hmm. how much that is based off of the way the LSU game ended? How have you been able to use that as motivation? Uh, it's pretty much, I go back and watch film of that game pretty much every day, night, all by myself, yeah. and just looking at how I played and how I wanted to change myself and how like I wanted to put myself in better positions, and I just pretty much based it off that whole game. Most of that game, at least for a stretch, you were terrific. You actually managed to tie the game up. Mm -hmm. that you know that. Yeah. I, I actually watched the end of that game again last night in preparation for coming over here. You walked off the court with Bruno, and you actually walked about this far right by me. <laughs> you, you weren't very happy at that point. Yeah. Is it cool that you could find that much emotion on the court? Because a lot uh, of the time you seem really ultra cool. Uh, yeah, pretty much my parents always told me every time you go on the court, leave it all, leave everything that you got on the court, and no matter if you win or lose, just make sure that you put up the effort for it. And, I feel as if I did, and that's when the tears came. Was it, do you think it's important for the maturation of the team to have that to build off of? Uh, yeah, that builds a fire in us. Um, nobody likes to lose, especially not in the NCAA tournament. And just being that close from playing, playing away from home, uh, that just built it up even more for us. The Jack Lynch Law Group's successes have resulted in many distinguished awards, including Best Personal Injury Trial Law Firm USA, Maryland's Personal Injury Attorney of the Year twice, and Super Lawyers designation every single year. We succeed because we're willing to try cases, and insurance companies know it. That's why their claim reps often grumble they pay us more in settlements than any other lawyers. You deserve a great lawyer. If you've been hurt in a car, truck, or train crash, call 855-BIG-DOG-1. This is Mason Viner. Listen to the Young Turps podcast on CapitalSportsBlog.com and TerpTalk.com, the number one rated Maryland sports podcast. Were there any conversations that, like you and Anthony, and like I know you're both kind of going back and forth, or not going back and forth, but like it was kind of a consideration for the draft for him, and then you chose not to. Were there any conversations you guys kind of had about just your desire to come back and uh, really try and chase, you know, and go far in the tournament this year? Uh, pretty much just trying to like, we, well, he knew I was always going to come back. I knew. I kind of knew he was going to come back, but I kind of didn't. But we just came back and said that we wanted to build on what we did last year and making sure that we bring our team with us and try to lead them as far as we can. What kind of desire have you seen from him to really like leave his legacy here and be a big leader for this team? You know, especially like that's kind of different this year from last year. Uh, I see it a lot more because Ant is a big time player, and um, every day he steps out on the practice court, um, you see it like he wants to, he wants to go far and leave his name in the school. And every day I'm trying to. I'm, on my, I'm by his side trying to help him reach his goals. And as someone who, like, you know, grew up around this area, like watching Maryland basketball, like I know he did too, how have you kind of seen him, and I guess yourself as well, kind of look up to um, those guys that were able to lead Maryland teams, you know, deep in the tournament and things like that? Uh, it's pretty much we look up to them all the time. Um, every day we look up at that national championship banner and we just imagine ourselves being in that position and every day we're working towards that goal. Do you guys like watch, you know, film from back then at all? Do you ever um, like that? Not really. I'm like, if we see it pop up on Twitter, we'll share it. But other than that, we, not really. What's the first Maryland game you remember watching? Uh, important game. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I don't remember the exact game or who they was playing, mm -hmm. but I remember it was like, it was Mellow's. I think it was his junior year, mm -hmm. and I remember him hitting a game winner, and I just saw the whole team go crazy. Michigan State here. It was. It was. Or at Wisconsin. It was on a road. I know it was on a road. It wasn't here. At Wisconsin. So yeah. I, I saw that, and was, that was just an amazing moment. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, I'll leave off speculation. I'll go back to Daryl. What's it like? How long you played with Daryl? Uh, this year will be my fifth year playing with Daryl. He seems to know where you're headed before you do. Some of the time. Uh, is that bond? 
help hurt or change and can, can you get that with somebody else here uh yeah um pretty much that kind of bond is yeah. kind of it's gonna be hard to build with everybody else because i played with him for five years and i'm yeah. basically playing with everybody else for two years yeah. so um it goes all the way back to high school with me and him we just always been that tandem and knowing where each other was at yeah. on the court so it's basically like a sense i say uh, i take it you were contacts when you're not on the court oh no Glasses. i don't uh so contacts ever take my eyes Oh, well, that explains that. So you can't really see me from there. Are you near center? No, I, I can see. I'm, I, I'm yeah. far away. Yeah, I can't see. Yeah. Cool. The rec specs, I used to wear rec specs, and I spent half the time keeping them dry. Yeah, Do that's the problem with that? Um, I mean, if somebody hits hit me in the face or yeah. I rub against somebody on their shoulders, I mean, yeah, they get a blurry. But other than that, no, not really. Right. Last one, I'll turn it back over. What, what have you done? Or do you think what you've done over the summer is going to let you grind better with the Michigan States and Wisconsin's of the world that like that six, first to 60 basketball? Uh, I believe so. Um, that's pretty much what I based it off of. Um, every game that we played against them, I just realized how, well, not say weak, but how less brought along I was than most of their big men, and that's just what been pushing me. Yeah. All right, thanks. Have a great year.